Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute channel. So in today's video, we are uh, going to discuss another question based on your query, which is on maxima and minima. So let's get started and see what question you have given. So this is the question that you need to show whether the function which is here has an, uh, a maxima or minima. And in fact, we have to prove that at 0, 0, this point, we neither have minima or maxima. So firstly, let me, you know, I have already made a video on this thing, um, how to check maxima or minima. But still, I would like to recapitulate so that you guys can understand it. Whenever you, you are given with a function, okay, and you need to check maxima or minima, and the function is in terms of one variable only, okay, x square, let's say, plus 5 or something. So, in that sense, what you need to do, there are some tests, first order, second order derivative test, that what you need to do, the flow is like, firstly, differentiate it and get the value and put it as zero so as to get critical points okay and whatever point you have got i mean whatever value of x you have got then on the basis of that find double uh, derivative of x whatever your value have, you have got put that critical point in it and if it is greater than zero see greater than zero means positive value but double differentiation is positive so inverse will happen that means it will be a minima and if it would be a negative value less than zero then that function will be having maxima at that particular critical point okay but now this is not the concept which we have studied this is about two variables x and y so in that case you need to consider partial differentiation okay what is it partial differentiation so how we can choose it let's see the concept differentiation this is not okay, okay. the concept will remain same you need to do similar uh, in the similar way just keep this in mind that firstly find out the function the partial differentiation of function with respect to x and then with respect to y okay first thing and then put them as zero to find out the critical points so the differentiation of this function xy fxy with respect to x would be remember because you are talking about the partial differentiation so any other variable other than the denominator one that means other than x you have to keep that constant so the variable the differentiation of x square will be 2x because you are doing with respect to x minus then y you will not consider it will be a constant just like 2 because you are doing partial differentiation with respect to x so minus 2 you know the differentiation of x with respect to x would be 1 right so it is left uh, as minus 2y then y it is constant so constant differentiation of constant is 0 then this will be 3x square right you know what we have to do in terms of differentiation if it is x raised to power n so keep bring this n in front of i mean as a coefficient and then reduce one from that power okay so this is it so x cube will be three as coefficient and reduce one from the power then again you have y because you are doing it with respect to x so y will not be considered then this will be 5x4 right bring 5 as coefficient and reduce 1 from the power so this is your partial differentiation of f with respect to x then partial differentiation of f with respect to y would be now x will not be considered because it will be a constant treated as a constant so minus 2x will be constant and differentiation of y will be 1 so minus 2x then for y square it will be 2y then x cube will not be considered because it is a constant then minus 3y square and again you will not consider x raised to power 5 right so these are your two values now if question would have asked that find out the maxima and minima value then the situation would be different you have to put them as zero 
I mean, firstly, this is your differentiation. Put them zero if you can find the, out the value. Otherwise, get double differentiation and then check whether it is positive or negative. But the question itself is asking that prove at zero zero it has neither maxima nor minima. Remember, this condition can only be having neither maxima nor minima when the differentiation, I mean, the value when you put in the differentiation form, it would be zero. So if you are putting x as zero and y as zero in these two cases, what you are getting? Two times zero, 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 everything is zero. Here also you have got zero, right? So that means these are the settle point. It is neither minima nor maxima hence proved right so i'm hoping that you have understood it and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take care of yourself bye bye